Okay, so this is Ronin week three already. <laughs> All the ruby and the testing that we've done in the previous weeks, we all sort of combined everything together um, into one sort of project, which I found was quite interesting and definitely something I really enjoyed. Sinatra was our first uh, web framework that we um, that we uh, got our hands on, and um, our test-driven development uh, was uh, with Capybara, uh, using their uh, Capybara commands to send uh, clicks and uh, fill out forms, and um, yeah, seeing that actually happen with using the Selenium web driver is just feels quite magical. Some of my peers feel that the uh, the course instructions, especially during the challenges, um, are maybe a bit vague and not very clear. In my view, it's actually quite a good thing because it makes you think as a developer, clients aren't always going to be uh, straightforward and, and give you correct, give you all the all the answers that you need. Um, sometimes they might be vague; they might not even understand uh, the complexity. So um, dealing with vague issues forces you as a developer to question things, but also um, encourages you to um, discuss amongst amongst yourselves and also to go away and do some more research. Makers don't want you to just follow the instructions and, and, and kind of uh, feed you that, that hand feed you that, that easily. Um, they want to make you think. Generally, the I find the instructions quite clear and easy to follow. And the materials they provide are definitely very helpful. I've got so many of them bookmarked on my web browser now, just like everything. I've got so many articles and you know helpful tips bookmarked on there that they've provided at the end of their challenges. So it's definitely been very helpful to just understand, keep developing my understanding of how to integrate things with the web browser and how to make things work because that's been really enjoyable. For next week, uh, I want to improve my efficiency at debugging. I feel that's um, still a weakness for me. Um, I tend not to follow the stack trace as our coach Sam has um, always advised us to do. He said that he would do a, uh, a workshop on uh, following the stack trace and um, optimizing uh, the error debugging process. So um, I'm looking forward to that next week.